On 31st of October, it was all over X. Bitcoin is about to make the highest monthly close ever. 14 hours until the highest monthly close ever. The problem, it didn't happen. In reality, we had a close which was about $1,000 below the close from March 2024. So Bitcoin actually could not stand up and close above it. This is very, very bearish for Bitcoin to look at this here. And many people are concerned now that the bull market is much weaker than expected. And with this, I want to say welcome to my 660 subscribers on this channel. If you are new to it, make sure you also hit the subscribe button. You really help me as a small creator out. And also hit the like button to say that this crypto content is very valuable, that more people should see it. And with this being said, let's go right into it. But there's no reason to panic yet. Let's look at this a bit closer. So in reality, uh, Bitcoin was not holding up this level that it could have done. But keep in mind that these monthly candles are just pictures of a certain date range. So the month starts always on the first and it always ends in the last day of the month. This is very arbitrary or like random, you could say, because every other measurement would lead to complete different candles. So if you believe that uh, the last day of the month is more important than other days during the month, it might be, but it might also not be. So in many cases, it makes a lot of sense to switch gears and to also look at other formats like the weekly. And on the weekly, we look completely different. We see that we have built up here a higher high from here. So from July to now, we definitely see a trend reversal on Bitcoin. But what makes even more sense is to go back to the monthly and look at this bigger picture and to turn on the Heikin Ashi candles. And I always recommend to look at Heikin Ashi because Heikin Ashi candles are um, they are more resistant to fluctuation. So Heikin Ashi candles don't start at the closing of a certain day. They start on the average of the month before. So you see here now that the November candle is extremely green because the average of October was much, much lower than we are right now. And um, the yeah, the October candle that you see here, it's super green, it's super nice, and it also has closed just above, like just as, at this level or maybe slightly above. I think it, yeah, it was actually slightly above uh, in Heikin Ashi terms, and that's usually more reliable. We also see this nice trend reversal red candle here, which indicates that there are coming some green candles ahead of us. However, there is one more thing to be concerned about, and that's what I also wanted to speak about this video, uh, hence this uh, thumbnail that might have uh, made you more bearish, so sorry for that. But in reality, we are looking at a bull market that is building up in front of us, but it could go much, much quicker than many think. And I will uh, show you now uh, what the, the reason for it is that this could be much, much quicker. The reason why many are concerned right now is because the non-farm payrolls in the United States, this is the jobs created per month have taken a dump. They are so much down, like from about uh, 200K to 12K only, and uh, you see also the average here in yellow. It's it's super much below the average. And this is uh, what only happens in very, very strange and difficult times. Um, and usually this is a very, very bad sign because the unemployment will rise. And the unemployment, um, unemployment level, unemployment rate has been rising, which is a very, very strong indicator for a recession coming. So if you look, for instance, at 2008, you see it happened right here before the recession came. The same here in the 2000s when the bubble, uh, the, the dot-com bubble burst. 
it also indicated that the recession is around the corner. And the same happens all over again in other recessions. There are very little examples where this number is rising and there is still no recession. And this affects the stock market. And the stock market has been overheated. You all know it. It has been rising, rising, and rising. And uh, this rally could eventually come to an end. And we see here the very, very uh, famous inverted hammer. And the inverted hammer usually is a very bad sign because it means that the stock market has probably reached the top or is very close to the top. As you see here in 21, it still took another huge candle to uh, finalize to find this top. But in reality, this hammer, this reverse hammer is really indicating a local top for the stock market. You see here, this was before the COVID dump. But Alex, didn't you just tell us two weeks ago to go all in? Yes, I did. And this video is an add-on to that because you need to know that this party might be over much faster than most of you think. And I promise you, 90% of investors will lose money again because they won't see the end coming. And with this video, I want to warn you because this will be a very, very fast party if, um, yeah, if I'm right. I mean, that's obviously not financial advice and you got to do your own research. You got to take your own decisions. But in my opinion, this party could come to an end as fast as it will accelerate. So be aware Quick, quick bull is around the corner and a quick, quick dump could also come after that. What we also see here on the S&P 500 is that there is a divergence in play on the monthly chart. So we see the market is not as strong as it was in 2018. And we really see that the trend here is going down. It could be that we already saw the top or that we shoot once more up. Look at this, look at this, the Dow Jones. And the Dow Jones is usually um, also very good in predicting these. And the Dow Jones shows exactly the same. It shows a reverse hammer pattern here. And it did exactly the same in 2008. So in 2008, the hammer, you see it here, is also very clearly visible. And after that, we saw another three green candles. This is when the greed really hits in, when the last retail investors are coming in to put in their money in this super overheated market. And then the big collapse has come in 2008. I don't say it will happen exactly this way this time, but the market certainly shows on many indicators that the Fed hasn't managed to uh, get a soft landing done. Many numbers show that the hard landing is just in front of us. It might be three months, it might be six months away, maybe even a bit longer, but there are ne uh, necessary uh, concerns to have that you need to have to uh, cope with this market in the future. Also, the NASDAQ is showing a similar pattern. It's not as strong here, but you see this indecisive candle that we uh, had in October. So October here in general became something that we need to uh, be aware of that could have been the pivot point for the stock market already. The global economy does not give the same numbers. It doesn't show the same strength as the stock market. And usually the stock market lags behind here a bit because it just doesn't want the party to stop. And if you like this content, make sure you hit the like, you subscribe to my channel, and I wish you a wonderful day. Until very soon, your Alex.